Hi, and thank you for your interest in learning about EasyCBM, a universal screener and progress monitoring set of assessments available to students in grades kindergarten through eighth. Research-based and norm-referenced assessments, EasyCBM, will benefit all of your students as you identify their learning of the foundational math and reading skills needed for grade level mastery and beyond. In this overview video about EasyCBM, we will explore the purpose, benefits, design, and administration timeline of these assessments, as well as glance at the data reports provided in the platform. Let's get started. EasyCBM consists of a set of individual student and class administered benchmark and progress monitoring assessments that test a student's abilities on the math and reading foundational skills learned in grades kindergarten through eighth. The three provided benchmark assessments per grade level for each subject measure the amount of learning occurring throughout the school year and help identify those students who may need additional assistance for academic success. The progress monitoring measures inform the amount of student learning taking place between benchmarks and the effectiveness of classroom interventions in place. The reading assessments include skills such as letter names and sounds at the kindergarten level, building to the word and passage reading fluency with vocabulary and comprehension at the higher grade levels. The math skills assessed are aligned to the curriculum taught throughout each grade level. Developed for use with the RTI model, EasyCBM is effective with all students in identifying the specific skills for which students are doing well and those for which students show difficulty. It is effective in all three RTI tiers. EasyCBM can be administered online and paper pencil and can also be taken remotely. It does not require a secure browser. EasyCBM was created at the University of Oregon in 2006 by the Behavioral Research and Teaching Team. CBM, in the name EasyCBM, stands for Curriculum-Based Measures. These are standardized measures that sample from the curriculum in a given school year to look at the degree to which students have mastered the critical or most important skills at a grade level. The concept originated 35 years ago in special education, designed to assist teachers in creating IEP goals and monitoring their students' progress. The success of the CBMs meant they were then used for the general education classroom. Easy CBM assessments are research-based, valid, and reliable assessments, and they correlate highly with state standardized reading assessments. All of the measures in Easy CBM match in rigor and length appropriate for the specified grade level and include 2020 norms. Easy CBM is also a norm reference assessment, meaning a student's results are compared to how a national sample of students in the same grade level tested in the same content areas, performed on the same test. ECCBM assessments provide district and diocesan grade level, classroom level, and individual student level reports that identify a student's overall progress towards meeting grade level expectations in reading and math. The reports, including the ability to create goals, add interventions for a student who needs monitoring before the next benchmark assessment, and identify a student's risk level of not mastering standards prior to the next benchmark. Districts and schools can use the data to quickly identify specific students who may benefit from intervention or enrichment support. Further, schools can enter when an intervention begins for a student and view within the data the student's progress before and after the interventions took place. A suggested time frame for progress monitoring frequency is part of the EZCBM reports, as well as the skills the students may most benefit from practice. We will look at the reports more closely shortly. EasyCBM stores the data for each student year over year, so each year's teacher can see the student's progress over time. EasyCBM was created with a universal design assessment approach, making the platform and test conditions accessible and fair to general and special education students alike. Universally designed assessments measure a student's true skills for a specific measure, eliminating any barriers such as reading on a math assessment. They also recognize the diversity of the testing population, they are concise and clear in language, they have clear formatting and visual information, and include the ability to change formatting while keeping to the meaning and rigor of the assessment. EasyCBM is appropriate to use with students of a wide range of abilities and for English language learners. The image on the left here is what teachers and administrators will see when they log in to EasyCBM and click the Measures tab. After selecting a grade level, they will see a list of the benchmark and progress monitoring assessments available by season. 
Teachers and administrators can click the video image icon to view a tutorial for how to administer the assessment and click the preview link to view how a student will see the test during online administration. All multiple choice response measures include a hover feature rather than a required radio button click, which assists students with fine motor and tactile challenges. Another universal design feature is the adjustable font size to support visual impairment during long comprehension measures. Spanish literacy tests are available for grades K through 2 for students receiving their primary literacy in Spanish. Spanish vocabulary is available to grade 8. District or diocesan administrators set the benchmark windows, the testing date ranges, at the beginning of the year for their schools within the Administration, System Settings, Managed System Settings area of the platform. The norms for the benchmark assessments were calculated using a six-week window of time. Our recommendation for the benchmark window is as short a time frame as possible. This recommendation is so that all of the benchmark scores are gathered at about the same time each season and no students receive an unfair advantage of additional curriculum instruction. Though flexible based on yearly school start dates, the suggested benchmark administration windows are as follows. September 1st through October 15th for the fall window, January 1 to February 15th for the winter window, and May 1st to June 15th for the spring testing window. For those students needing progress monitoring in between benchmark assessments, EZCBM provides 10 to 17 progress monitoring probes to assess a student's progress along the way. EZCBM provides data reports that are accessible and useful for a variety of purposes at the district or diocesan level. In the school comparison report shown here, for example, administrators receive an overall perspective of district results by grade level, subject area, measure, and season. Percentages or numbers of students in each benchmark performance band risk group can be seen by clicking the blue links. Administrators can also click the name of a school in blue to view specific results unique to that school. EZCBM data is useful for looking at trends across schools and within grade levels, identify professional learning needs, particularly towards at-risk students, evaluate the effectiveness of particular programs in place for students in RTI, view student growth over time, and review specific data for students and their progress towards meeting grade level standards. EZCBM also provides reports to school administrators. These reports show student performance at the class level by subject, season, grade level, and measure. Class data at each grade level can be compared by season and measure to each other, and the percentage of students in a grade at each risk level on each benchmark assessment displays on the risk analysis report. Grade level, class, and student level data are useful for administrators in making comparisons between classes, determining the effectiveness of programs in place towards school success and school goals, identifying any professional development needed towards meeting the needs of students being progress monitored, looking at grade level trends, and conferencing with teachers and parents about individual student performance and meeting grade level standards by the end of the school year. At the teacher level, EZCBM provides several reports helpful for supporting student instruction towards end-of-year mastery of standards. The Benchmark Risk Rating Report, for example, shows each student's performance on the benchmark assessment by subject area and measure. The teacher can view the student's scores according to performance bands, provide recommended progress monitoring probes to the students, and deliver classroom instruction based on the student's provided Lexile level. The risk analysis and group longitudinal reports can inform the RTI process and assist in student goal creation and effective interventions in EZCBM as students learn and master the curriculum. To learn more about EZCBM, check out our additional videos on the benchmark assessments and progress monitoring measures, the reports for administrators and teachers, the student testing experience, two additional programs also part of EZCBM, and how to order EZCBM and receive training. Thank you for your interest in learning about EZCBM. Please contact your assessment consultant or visit us at riversideinsights.com to know more about how EZCBM can support your students and elevate their learning potential. Thank you and have a wonderful day.